injury bug kind of turning into an epidemic heading into Friday. They have only seven healthy offensive linemen starting center Rich Braham. He's the latest to have arthroscopic surgery on his knee in hopes of healing by opening day. Larry Moore going to start at center on Friday. Merrimont's Alex Solstead at left guard for Eric Steinbach. Friday is a fine tuning, putting the bulk of it, your complete package together and coming out and working and, and being precise. You know, Friday is a day, a very, very focused day, making no mental mistakes, going through everything full speed, no errors, because you had Wednesday and Thursday to practice it. Yeah, you do. More roster moves to bulk up that linebacking core. They waive Thatcher, Zalay, Derek Crawford, and pick up two wave backers. Rookie free agent Allen Augustine out of Florida State. He got cut by the Steelers after making four preseason tackles. And Marcus Wilkins, he played 12 games for the Packers over two years before being cut by the Cardinals. Manning and the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Bengals. One last chance for those on the bubble to impress Coach Marvin Lewis. Now, if you're planning on watching the game after this show and don't want to know the score, turn away for about two minutes. Let's go to Paul Brown Stadium. It takes Manning just five plays to carve up Manning the Bengals' defense again. as Reggie Wayne beats Torrey James for a 38-yard score. A Colts move. lead it 7 to nothing. Controversial Offset play here. Carson Palmer, screen pass to Rudy Johnson. Watch as he goes up and over into the end zone, or does he? He's hit by Donald Strickland. Ref say fumble. Bengals never challenged. No touchdown. Rudy never fumbled all last season. But the patchwork offensive line giving Rudy room to run. Picks up 36 yards here. Finishes the night five carries, 51 yards. And T.J. Hushmanzada should have had a touchdown catch here from Palmer. Instead, he drops the ball. Second time this preseason for T.J. Palmer. 10 of 14, 106 yards, and gets that touchdown pass. It's to James Lynch. Seven yards, it's 10-7 second quarter. Bengals get to Corey Sauter three times tonight. Landon Johnson records a sack, but the Bengals with three first half turnovers trail 13 to seven at the half. Three Shane Graham field goals give the Bengals the lead in the fourth quarter, and newcomer Allen Augustine has himself an interception. Picks off Jim Sorge to kill the Colts drive. Now the Colts say no to a tying field goal, Go for the win on the game's final play. No overtime. Kiwan Ratliff breaks it up. The Bengals survive 16 to 13. Local 12 sports reporter Marshall Harris was on the sidelines during the game. He now joins us live from Paul Brown Stadium with more. Marshall. Harvey, as you just showed us, it was a game that came down to the last play, a close game all the way around, and a game the Bengals very much wanted badly to win. It's a game that wraps up their preseason, something Carson Palmer is all too happy to be done with. It was, it was a long preseason, you know, a lot of, a lot of buildup, you know, to get ready for this week and a lot of concentration for this week. And as you go through the preseason, you know, you're always thinking about the team you're playing, but there's still that sign up in the locker room that, that has the countdown to New York. So excited to get it out of the way and excited, excited to get the season going. We showed you the highlights, and if you want to stick around, we'll show you the entire game. 11.35, immediately following the Friday night final, we'll have the Bengals and Colts right here on Local 12. Harvey, the Bengals finish the preseason at 2-2. Two and two. Live from Paul Brown Stadium, we kick it back to you. Marshall, thank you very much. And don't forget, Sunday night, 10 o'clock, our hour-long Bengals special right after the fireworks, an inside look at the team with Carson Palmer, Rudy Johnson, Ace Webster, much more. Plus, we answer your email questions live. The Roar at 04, Sunday night, 10 o'clock, only here 